Okay, what we're talking about is how to give proper respect to someone who's a member of the nation, who's not a member of the nation or the children of Israel. So I thought about this for a while. I said, how should we address our neighbors? Are we going to address them as what they're not, meaning to call them non-Jews? Or should we call them Gentiles, which can be legitimately uh, promoted? Or should we use a title that the Torah itself would use to address people who are not Jewish but are something? Meaning, if you define me by being not this and not that, in a sense you're kind of insulting me. That's how I see it. So I'd like to read to you a piece from Rabbi Yaakov Rogalski's book. It's an introduction to the Prophet as a Gentile. He writes the following. There is a second difficulty that arises in considering the setting of life of members. It is seemingly a semantic problem, but it has profound implications. The Gentile, as well as the Jew, should not relate to members of non-Jewish nations of the world as Gentiles, but rather as Noahites or Noahites. See, so once we start to address each other, if we are of the Noahite nations, we will call, we will call one another as the children of Noah or Noahites, which are in fact the non-Jewish Jewish nations of the world. But it's, it's a name which has a positive implication, not an expression of exclusion from the Jewish people. Because once you start to call someone by what their name is truly according to Torah, you're giving them the, the, the honor which is due a person according to Torah to be called the Noah. And once you do that, you start to identify for them that they have a specific spiritual role, one that is exceedingly exalted. Therefore, Rabbi Rogalski then mentions this, the children of Noah are co religionists of the children of Israel. And I like to use the term co partners in the true faith of the world, in the one true living God. And together they are peaceful partners striving to perfect the world and therefore give Hashem God satisfaction. So when a Noahite looks at himself as a Noahite, the Gentile becomes like the Jew in that he is a member of a people whose peoplehood, not just his religion, is synonymous with its relation to God. So when you, when I address you as Ben Noah, Ben Noah, you look as a Ben Yisrael, a Jew, I don't want to be a Jew, we are saying we are in partnership in service to the Almighty. So, I, gentlemen, we have we have uh, uh, RW and we have, we have Pedro Rivera here. Any, any feedback? Any thoughts you'd like to share with me on this matter? How do you feel being addressed as what you are called in, in the Torah, as opposed to be calling you something that you are not? Do you feel I'm respected anymore if I call you Noah? Well, I truly believe that everything that is created is created by God. Sustains all life. And so, as far as laboring, people people can't get offended by that. You know what I mean? Regardless if you call them no honey, you call them, right? they will get offended because you actually isolate them. And people can't get offended. Yeah? But if you come, but we all are looking for a goal. We are looking to see who we truly are. Right? And it's a saying that goes, we don't know where we're going until we know where we came from. And one of the things that I think that should be related to individuals is to let them know that they are children. Okay? That's the first thing. You know? Because if a person is known to be like a child of God, well, they feel themselves important. You know, and they want to seek more. You know, I mean, who they truly are. And then by giving them wisdom, because wisdom is what leads people to understanding. You know. So, I mean, knowledge. Knowledge is what leads people to understanding as well as putting together knowledge and, 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 and understanding. You get wisdom. And then you know who you are. And then, after that, the person will grasp who or how what when you call them Noahites, what did that literally mean? And then they might accept it at that time. But to come out uh, straightforward and tell the person, well, you know, we're this and you're that and we're this and you're that. Of course, Noah did have three sons, but really where we can't really say which son did we really came today. Yeah, I don't know. But yeah, because it's not really detected of the color of my skin, because it's a mixture. The emphasis here is if you identify yourself as a Noah, you're saying, I am in partnership with Israel. Because the Torah identifies all 
all the human race coming from Noah. Noah. Meaning, the Torah is not identified to separate. The Torah is identified to bring together. You're absolutely right. But the key thing now is to get the person to accept it. Okay. Under, yeah. So, a lot of people today, they become very um, defensive. You know what I mean? When you tell them something, they will defend themselves. You know, if they think that it, if it doesn't really make sense to them. So, you don't want to close up the door on them. You don't want to open up the door and then come in and then explain. Can you get the last one? I'm just checking to see we don't run out of time. Go ahead. No. Project your leg. Okay, go ahead. Yeah. What I just what I found when I, I actually <laughs> what I found actually when I uh, I would mention to someone that you're actually you know, like with a curiosity of what do you mean by I don't know it's already first of all it was a public made with God you know and we are part of we are descendants of God as a result we are part of that covenant most people are unaware of that though. So instead of being defensive, most people I find being very curious to know what was this covenant between God and God. And there we enter discussion, which I can reveal to them what, what it is that God had originally planned for all human beings to accept upon themselves. So basically, I just found more of a curious audience than a defensive one by mentioning that they are actually part of a covenant with God to be in the So I don't offer them an entitled that it is actually theirs to begin with. I offer them a a relationship that they already have with God that is not aware of. It's more of a revelation than a labor.